Greetings! On the fourth day of lamp series, we are going to make this lamp. Its name is Dodecahedron. We started making this lamp with tetrahedron in which on every vertex three triangles meet. Then we made this cube where we saw that on every vertex three squares meet. So today we have made this dodecahedron in which three pentagons meet at each vertex. You can see this on every vertex of the dodecahedron. In this dodecahedron, there are 12 faces, 20 vertices and 30 edges. One very special thing about this dodecahedron is that the pentagon from which it is made is a regular pentagon. The important thing about the regular pentagon is that the ratio of its diagonal and its side is a golden ratio. The golden ratio is found everywhere in our surroundings. It may seem unheard, but we'll find that if a person is beautiful, the cause lies in the golden ratio itself. Also, Hem Chandra Fibonacci number and the beautiful petals of flowers look beautiful because of the golden ratio. So, to know more about the golden ratio, we have given the link in the description box to you. You can check out the same. Now, if I join all the diagonals of the dodecahedron, a cube is formed and it will look something like uh, this structure I am showing you. So, this is our cube. Now, if I open it, it will form a dodecahedron. See, in this you can observe a dodecahedron is formed. And clearly you can see that we have cut it's all the diagonals. So in the dodecahedron only a cube is present. See? So this is a dodecahedron and if I close it, it will become a cube. So now I'm closing it and you can tell that um, what is this empty space? You can tell the same in the comment box. Now, if I take the center point of this pentagon and join all the center points, then a new structure is formed. Its name is icosahedron. We have made its model in our lab. In this, you can understand easily that if you join the midpoints of pentagon, then a triangle is formed. It is made everywhere. On each of its vertices, five triangles are meeting and this structure is called icosahedron. So we will make this structure tomorrow also. We can cut this dodecahedron in different ways and can make different caps. So now if I keep this dodecahedron like this, keeping its face on the ground and make a cut, then this type of cap will be made. Now, if I keep the dodecahedron with its edge on the ground like, um, like this and make a cut, then a different type of cap will be formed. Now, I can do it in one more manner. If I keep it with its vertex on the ground and make a cut, then a third type of cap is formed. So for more details about the dodecahedron, like how much will be its volume, its diadecahedral angle, its end radius, etc. A link of separate YouTube video is provided in the description box. And thank you very much.